What's going on everybody, it's Inferno here with another video today, and we're going to be playing a brand new game since Mega Man ended, though I'm probably going to do like Mega Man 2 episodes. Now today, this is a uh, fan-made uh, Pokemon game, uh, honestly, it's one of the most popular, like, you know, non-Game Freak Pokemon games. Uh, many of you may have heard it, and it's called... Pokemon Uranium version. Look at that beauty. Wonder what if that, uh, yada yada yada. That's great. Alright. Awesome, look at this. Alright, so let's start up a uh, new game. Choose your game mode. Ooh! You know, since uh, no one likes to go the easy route, let's go. Let's go with the Nuzlocke mode. Nuzlocke challenge adds a lot to the difficulty of the game. Fate and your Pokemon are considered dead, and you are able to catch only one Pokemon per route. Some optimal rules can be toggled in your options menu in game. Are you sure you want to play on this mode? Yes. Let's do this. Ha! Huh, who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Look at this guy. My name is Bambo. Bamboo. Ha! Huh, I get it. Bamboo. Uh, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're like, you're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great. Uh, want the loader on what you'll be doing? Uh, nah, I mean, uh, let, 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 let me see the controls. Down, left, right, up. Action is C or enter. Or space. Cancel is X. Cancel is also escape. Run is with C, scroll down, page down. Okay, there's an F5. Cool. Uh, no info needed. Alright. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. Ooh, I'm a trainer. But there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But, why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Ah, but I'll tell you more... More at your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow and get your first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill out this form here. Alright. Who are you? Huh. Uh, this one. Yes. Am I sure? Yes. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Uh, do we type it? Oh, yeah, we type it. Nice. Alright. Inferno, let's do that. My name is Inferno. Yes, Inferno, are you ready? As ready as I'll get. Your journey, your story, is about to unfold. The future is a blank state. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go! All right, I like, I like this already. Ten years ago, Inferno's fam family lived in. Be uh, Beal Beach City. Is that how you, is that how you pronounce it? Beal Beach City. I think so. The largest city in Tandor. Oh, the Tandor region. Eh? Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon ra ranger. Nice. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Hmm. Sounds nice. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with Young Inferno. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright. Until... Uh-oh. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. 
As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. There's a mother. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Um, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer, I just checked that. So... Uh, 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 oh. There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have to, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate, now! Mom, what are you doing? Lucille, you have to leave too! Mom? M uh, Lucille! Mom, what, uh, what, what did you do? If you get yourself killed... Uh-oh. With Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed. Except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years. Foiling any attempt to try and search for her. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Caitlin. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief under Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Inferno was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. Oh my god. Mom. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bamboo, the, lo Bamboo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki applied, Inferno and their childhood friend, Theo. Hey, it's Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so Inferno's journey began. Hey, look, we got a Wii! Inferno, come downstairs, you are late! Oh, hey, would you look at that? Can, can I run? No. But... It's a Nintendo... Oh, it's a Wii U! Ha! The system's already out, the Nintendo Switch! Nice. Alright, hi, Auntie. How are you doing? Inferno, sweetie, today's a big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum, seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones can do, could do more so that I could support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy, Theo. Always following in your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable. But I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. I'm sure his father, Cameron, wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Oh, Cameron! That's, uh, Theo's Cameron's son. Wow. Anyways, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. Hey, running shoes! Sweet. The instructions on them read. To run, hold C. You can toggle auto run in the menu. Oh, don't, oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you too. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? Sure will, Grandma. And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first book fun, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Alright, we got the run- Hey, look at that! The, uh, run boys. Yes! Great. Alright. Smoky Town. Uh, is someone coming? Cause I can't seem to move. Alright. Zoom. Nice. Are you seal? Oh, Inferno, you're leaving home? Right? Here, have this, it'll help you on your journey. Don't eat it yourself. A oh, rare candy, nice. An instant level up for any of my Pokemon. Great. Is it uh this way? No. Maybe? Yo, yeah, old man. So you're going to the big red bedroom now, eh, Inferno. I should pop by to visit your auntie now and again. No. Uh. Okay. All right. It was this way. Great. All right. Let's do this. Most of the Pokemon species found in Tandor are native to this region. But there are some which can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. 
Ah, okay, so there are other uh, Pokemon here. Hey, wait up! Is that, see, oh, is that you? My god, you look so small. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me? So you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Inferno. Alright. And if I could move, that'd be great. Oh, this is the, this is the lab. Great, let's go inside. I like the music. Bamboo. Hey, it is an inferno. And, ah, uh, your friend. Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, you can't even remember my name. It's Theo. Theo. Right, right, Theo. You're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work as field research assistant at Bamboo's Pokemon Research Lab. You will... Your jobs will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your stars though, you'll both have to take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Great. Test, I didn't search for any tests, I thought we were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't worry, it's not the test you kind of have to search for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon Trainer you will be. Different star Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A star Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want to get my Pokemon. Sheesh, kid, you're not very patient, are you? Alright, if you want to know more about what's on the test before you begin, you can talk to my aide. Now, Inferno, are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? Yes, yes I am. Excellent, so without further ado, when you encounter a new, po a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Hmm. Hmm. Do I attack it? Uh, wait and see. And uh, throw a Pokemon. Actually, uh, I attacked it right away, so that way I could lower its, uh, HP. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tough one. Okay, next question then. Which of these CNs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Oh, ho, ho, Hyper Beam. Hey, Professor, what's a TM anyway? Um, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon will win in an all-out battle? Gyarados, Gliscor, or Ampharos? Alright, let's see. Gyarados, Water Flying. Ampharos will, will knock that thing out in, in like one or two shots. Glasgow, though, Ground Flying. So it's resistant to Ampharos, but, you know, if it Gyarados doesn't take it out first. But I think Ampharos could, you know, do more than just uh, electric attack, so I'm gonna go with Ampharos. Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now, this is your final question, so answer it honestly. What is your favorite motivation? For becoming a Pokemon trainer. Make new friends? Ha! Nah. Uh, exploring the region. Sounds cool. Becoming the very best? Like no one ever was. No question about it, I'm gonna become a Pokemon master. And nobody's gonna stand in my way. Ha <laughs> I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Okay, let's finish my analysis. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Inferno. You seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go with for what you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. The saying, the best defense is a good offense, is probably your mantra. I've heard that, maybe, yeah. You have a burning spirit within you that never ceases. For an offensive trainer like you... RECORD! Yo! Look at this guy! Oh, he looks so cool! Go ahead and take an Inferno. Oh, sweet! Wow! Raptor. Well, this is a uh, uh, an unboss. So let's name it. Um, I I don't know. Does that thing have like a bluish hue? Kind of. So what is it? It's a Raptor, right? A raptor torch has a kind of armadillo thing on it. Yeah, I have no clue whatsoever as to what I'm going to name this thing. Let me see. What's a good name? Let's call it Blue. Uh, sure, because I'm lazy like that. <laughs> now, if you know who I'm referring to, go ahead, uh, leave it down in the comments to see if you get the reference. 
Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Inferno got their starter already. When do I get mine? I'm done. I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Hmm. All right, let's see what Theo gets. Is he gonna get the water type? Theo. Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely. Or maybe it's just that you're so young. I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, he's gonna get the grass type, isn't he? Aha! Uh -huh. Orchink. Alright, a lynch and orchard. Hey, that's pretty cool. Alright. Yes, my first Pokemon. Nice job, kid. Inferno, you have a Pokemon. And now I have a Pokemon, too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Oh, my God, Steel looks like he's only, like, six years old. That's great. Rival Theo would like to battle. Rival Theo sent out Warchink. Nice. Go, Blue! Probably gonna change it later. If you guys want, you can leave down below in the comments what kind of name you would rather, much rather... Oh, already Ember. What kind of name you guys would rather give me, me give to Blue? It's super effective. The full Warchink fainted. Blue gained 75 experience points. Off they go. Alright, not enough to get to level 5, but they're almost there. Defeated rival Theo. What? But, uh, uh, but I was supposed to win. And an instant 350. But how? You're supposed to be the best trainer ever. That's impossible. Good trainers never lo lose. I... Well, yeah, you're like... 3 years old. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Nice. I love it. Alright, uh, I want to become an, uh, an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really wanted to win. Well, between you and your star, between your star and Inferno's, there's has the type of advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. Simple Pokemon physics. That's beyond us a triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. Th no way, I want to do over. How come Inferno gets a better starter? Well, nah, this isn't fair. I'm go I'm going home. Alright. Great. Ah, he took that harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid after all. Yeah, he's like a what? Seven year old, I swear. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as we imagined. I'm going out to the entrance to Route 1 by the edge of town. Bring Theo and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Inferno. Nice. Well, we got our starter, Raptorch, or as I named it, Blue. Look, it's a Raptorch. It's a Raptorch. Uh, move, move, trunk. Oh, and a water starter. Oh, and an Orchnik. What's the water starter called, I wonder? Hmm. Is it this one? No. Alright, I, uh, I need to check the controls again too. But guys, um, that's gonna wrap things up for this episode. We got our we got our starter, blue, the wrap torch, and my God, he looks amazing. What is? Whoa, what? Is, hey, uh, come back here. What are you, the Zigzagoon of the region? I'm guessing. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, I have to. Let me just catch up right there. Yes. Kin, Kin, you're the chinchilla, I'm guessing. All right, cool. Well, everyone, I'm going to wrap things up right in front of Smoky Town time. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave down below uh, if you got the reference to the name. Or if you want me to change the name to something better. If I like it, I'll go ahead and change it when I get the chance. And leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more Pokemon Uranium. And until next time, everyone.